Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jonathan again here at GPU Audio. I'm going to show you real quick how to get your custom impulse responses into the GPU Audio plugin. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, this PC, double click on your C drive, double click on program files, double click on common files, go to VST3, go down to GPU Audio, open this up, and you'll find your impulse response folder right here. You can see I've already put some custom ones inside here. Now there's two ways to do this. Uh, one way is that you actually delete all of these files and then create a custom folder for each impulse response, uh, number zero through nine, but that's a little complicated. So I think what we're gonna do right now is just simply replace some of these sounds. Now, if I go to properties, you're gonna notice that um, these impulse responses have a bit rate, it was 24 bit, and then there should be 48,000 kilohertz. Um, you're gonna want all of your you're going to want all of your other um, impulse responses to share that those details because um, if you don't you might crash so we've had the experience where we use 16-bit impulse response and it just crashes reaper or, or your daw the minute you open it up so make sure that you're doing that and um, all your impulse responses are sharing uh, that 4824 bit and uh, sample rate now the other thing to do is rename the files so that it's just you know words in order like this uh, with no numbers and things like that to avoid any problems. Um, so it takes a little bit of setup, but once you're good to go, you're you're good to go. So let's just minimize OBS. You don't need to see that. And hello squall. So what I'm going to do is if I can only have ten of these in here at a time. If you don't have ten files, um, it will just on the on the slider or on the on the uh, encoder inside of your DAW, it will like number nine and ten will just be, you know, number nine. If let's say we got rid of tarred yarn store binaural, we just ended with ocelot front. The last two uh, plugin slots would be or impulse response slots would be the ocelot front. So we want to make sure to populate it with ten at a time. So what I can do is I can actually grab another file, drag it in here, give it permission. And then now that I have 11, what I'm going to want to do is take one of them out. Uh, once I've done that, all of these will show up inside of Reaper um, properly and we'll get the right sound. It's important to note that you can only have 10 at a time, otherwise it gets confused, you could be prone to crashes. Um, these are actual impulse responses I downloaded. So one thing that you can do um, if you want to keep organized uh, is, you know, let's say we make a new folder. Let's say we have a bunch of different collections of impulse responses. Let's make, you know... Uh, collection one or like collection 12 okay fine <laughs> so what we would want to do is instead of instead of dragging this folder into here and replacing it you don't want to do that because we have to use this original folder that says impulse responses it's set up for that so what I would do is I would just simply open this up I would create another folder called temporary right and this is where I would drag and drop all the original files into temporary, right? That's a great idea. And let's do that for all items. And maybe what I want to do is in the impulse responses folder, that's where I would drag whatever is in, happens to be inside of collection 12. Let's say it's this one. And let's say there's t 10 sounds. I drop those in, continue, and we're good to go. And when I want to get them out of there, I could simply drop, drop it back out into its original folder, go back to temporary, grab the original files, do this for all items, copy and paste, and we're back to normal. So that's my preferred method of swapping in and out. You know, um, you cannot hot swap, so you're going to have to close Reaper every time you change impulse responses. Um, that's just a limitation of this early access plugin, but I hope you found this interesting and hope you have fun. Um, we're going to be posting lots of cool impulse responses for you to test, and uh, certainly hope you guys share yours also in the Discord. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye.